today we are back in Universal. It's been forever, but I know you guys know this garage. We are in Cat in the Hat 460, because that's how we start every Universal vlog. And Michael's here! Yay! It's been too long. So as you can probably tell by the outfit, it is Harry Potter Celebration Day today. And we're about to come see how crazy the parks are full of Harry Potter fans and costumes and all sorts of Harry Potter goodness. So I'm representing Hufflepuffs and let's go inside. It's Universal since they installed their metal detectors. It doesn't look too terrifying over there. We're gonna find out. I've seen some pictures where it looked awful. Okay, so this is what it's like to get in now. So much fun. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, start your universal fun with security checks. Just like being at an airport. It's fantastic. Michael's giving me the wall tour because Universal is a sea of walls right now. So much construction happening. This is where all the big sessions happen here at the Music Plaza. Obviously nothing happening right now, just people waiting for the next big thing. Well, let's check out the schedule and see what's happening. It's always great fun coming to come. Here's the schedule for the weekend. Nothing happening for a while. If you watched my Horror Nights vlogs, this is where the Horror Nights gift shop was, and now it's under construction. It's gonna be the Jimmy Fallon experience. It's all getting torn down. So, just adding to the further construction walls here. So much fun. There it is. Oh God, it's not until 2017? This is gonna take a whole year? What? Come on, Universal. Go Universal speed. You can go faster than that. <laughs> Hot set. It's kind of fun just being here because you see all the people just like in costume. I should have had a tie. That's what I'm missing, but I have the lanyards. Then that makes it kind of like a tie, right? Yeah, good times. It's my favorite part of coming is just seeing everybody in their costumes and walking around with a bunch of other Harry Potter nerds. Filming people with awesome costumes. So they just got filmed. Something they're working on. A good one right there. Let's see what the mummy. The mummy is way too long. 45 minutes. That's not happening. Not happening. in the corner where Beetlejuice and Disaster were. They've been getting torn down and I'm a little afraid. Not because I liked Beetlejuice, but just because it's gonna be really, really weird. So here we go. Let's see this. Whoa, that's so weird. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so crazy. Look at that, it's just gone. Wow. Wow, so the facades are still here, obviously. Yeah. Oh, holy cow. That is, that is nuts. It's just all turned out. You can see King's Cross from here now. Wow, and they're working right now. They're tearing more stuff down. I've seen a lot of different construction projects happening at Universal in my past years living here, but yeah, they, they move fast here. That's, it's just gone. It's just gone. So Michael's very sad because there's no more disaster crew house. No more giggles. Giggles is gone for real. Sad face. How was it run for one night? <laughs> oh yeah. That's right. Uh, well, 
walls, walls, walls everywhere. <laughs> so many walls. Oh, we've gotta watch out. There's some serious people here. Very serious. <laughs> Good catch on seeing that one. Wish us luck. Diagon Alley, it's been a while. Much excitement. So this is new. This is the last time I was here. They got rid, well they, I think they moved it. The camera shop moved onto like the main area Diagon and now we've got another sweet shop. It's actually not that busy in here right now. It's kind of amazing. Your usual. Yeah, you know, just some jelly slugs. Yum! I know you want some. <laughs> Chocolate wand. You forgot your wand. I did forget my wand, but then I would just eat that one, and then that defeats the purpose. <laughs> Things to do in Diagon Alley is watch people do this spell and hit unexpected wizards. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. That's rare. Rare for someone to walk in front of my camera and actually apologize. That was pretty sweet. Come on, come on, man. Somebody with their wand. Come on, anybody's unsuspecting tourists right here. I'm evil. Maybe I really am Slytherin. <laughs> come on, she's got her map out and everything. And I love the Quibble one. Some new ones I haven't seen before. Mary's Magic Mice, that's awesome. Slippers. Um, Michael, don't deny me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, slippers. They're so fashionable. Hi. I can actually film Nocturne Alley. It's pretty crazy. It's very busy in here. Oh, this girl has the full lion hat. My, my camera is way brighter than the actual, my eyes. Like, my eyes haven't adjusted yet. <laughs> I, can't, I can't see anything. I'm seriously blind right now. <laughs> it's so dark in here. So if you thought, hey, I'm coming to the Harry Potter celebration, I want to eat at the Leaky Cauldron. That's going to be a great idea. You might want to rethink that because this is the line right now. So that's the interior line. It's going through all of the queues. It's going around the door and it's coming out here into Nocturne Alley. It's a long line just to order some food. Doo, doo, doo. Still going. Yeah. Not today, folks. Not today. Alright, dragon. We're gonna go elsewhere. But you're looking beautiful as always for Simpsons, because that's totally worth it. <laughs> no, it's not, people. Don't wait 75 minutes for that. Don't do it. I actually haven't been in here yet. So we're gonna check out the prop store. See what goodies. Mm, hello. Twister. more disaster stuff making its way in. And if you got $250, you could have this jack sign. I do not. I do not have that. Sure 
Oh, hi, guy. We're night section, a whole bunch of stuff that I don't, I don't know what it is. Some green bricks. What's that from? Multiple park retail locations. Ooh. For $10. I've got the Beetlejuice sign down here. How much is that worth? Too much. Too much. <laughs> I, I believe it. <laughs> I have Firefly stuff in this, the other store that has kind of like the Doctor Who stuff. Got Firefly. Serenity. There was a uh, Reaver in Cabin in the Woods. That's true. They do like. And they got Halo. So random. Assassin's Creed. I just like to come in the store because they have the Doctor Who stuff. And I have found some neat Doctor Who stuff here in the past. I'm sure it's neat. It's just out of date now because we have another Doctor who's not listed there. But what the heck is happening here? Those are so scary. No. Just no. Just no. <laughs> Well, I mean, if Jaws eats Hello Kitty, that'd be cool. But yeah, this is where the Hello Kitty store is. The Hello Kitty store is going. So they have Hello Kitty walls. Yeah. Then why do you have two different ET ones? There you go. So the crowds at Harry Potter are, as expected, pretty big. And we're hungry. So we're not going to Margaritaville. <laughs> but we are going. <laughs> Tanahitos. I've only been here once, Michael's never been here, so we're gonna go give it a shot. They do have awesome guacamole at the very least, so I'm all about some guac. And get it inside, because it's not actually hot. It's in the like 70 degree range, but the sun is intense right now, so hoping it'll get a little lower while we're eating our lovely chips and guac. So as those people are about to find out, it's actually closed. It doesn't open till four, and um, we just had like, what, 10 people? And the past two minutes, I'll find out the same thing at once, and I'll get very disappointed. So Universal, I question your decision to have like, your City Walk restaurants closed at lunch on a Saturday during Harry Potter celebration. <laughs> but I guess we're not getting chips and guac. I know. I feel the same. I feel the same. Guac of guac. Guac of shame. It's the guac of shame. <laughs> Damn you, Antiquitos. Like, the, again, that's the second time I've tried to come here and they were closed. I guess I'm not meant to have Antiquitos. If you want something, you're supposed to go to Margaritaville. That one's at least sounds open. If it's not, I'd be surprised. But oh, so much for the chips and guac. Okay, now let's see if we can find any nifty costumes. 45 minute wait for Dueling Dragons, which is never a 45 minute wait anymore. Here than in Diagon, I don't understand it. Did you guys know this has been here for like five years? Go to Diagon, it's newer. What the heck? Wow. So many people. It's like end of the year coupons to use. And so we ate. It was good for a small popcorn and a small drink. Now tell me why a small popcorn is twice the size of a small soda. That's just wrong, because now I'm gonna need to buy two sodas to make up for the big popcorn. You're dirty, Universal. Dirty. But delicious. <laughs> so ready for this. It looks so good. And pumpkin pieces too. So I'm gonna leave like all professional vlogger and use the rock to film for me, but I got my honey duke fudge. Butter beer. Oh, they wrapped it all nicely. It's all like Aww. individually wrapped. Here we go. So it's got two different layers. It's got like the butter beer and the foam. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> that was really good. Oh god, you're gonna have like a sugar coma if you eat this entire thing. Wow. Challenge me. It's so good. It's so good, guys. It's so good. In the hole. Uh, no, the hole. Yeah. And look, there's track again. That if you haven't been following Theme Park Twitter, they took down the entire track, but now they're starting to put it back up. So now there's new bright green track in the back. 
Uh, still nothing here though. So if you, you launch right now, you're going into space. <laughs> it's surreal being here and like looking across and just seeing Hogwarts without the big Hulk track blocking your way. There. <laughs> oh, Okay, trial number two, we are heading back to Antipedos. Holy yeah. success time. They just opened like 10 minutes ago, so <laughs> bring on the clock. Antihitos experience and it wasn't that crazy about Antihitos the first time I went but that was really good they also lowered their prices a little bit because I know the guacamole was like crazy expensive the first time we went and it was $14 this time so it was, it was yummy shrimp costume <laughs> what in the world all right that's happening so hey guys obviously I am back home now from Harry Potter celebration, it's actually uh, near the end of the week now, but I realized when I went to edit the video that I never actually signed off because I drove Michael home and then drove to Arcadia to spend the weekend with my parents for my mom's birthday. So I didn't film a goodbye, so I just wanted to say that Harry Potter celebration was fun, except for the fact that the crowds were crazy, which I knew going into it, I didn't have high expectations of getting to do the expo or anything. Um, I did the expo last year, so I kind of knew what was inside and knew that I didn't want to wait as long as the posted times. And then I heard from other friends who went that you'd wait like two hours or 90 minutes or so to get in, and then there was an additional line to do any of the studio tour stuff. So my issue with the event that they need to fix for next year is that they've got bigger sound stages there at Universal. They could have this in a bigger location to allow more people to come through so that there's not the crazy wait times because the park isn't open that late. If you're staying in line for four hours to see those things, then you're not even going to get to experience the things that are happening on the stages. So I really think that Universal needs to look into updating their plan for this for next year because this event is growing. There were tons of people there. Uh, I went mainly for the people watching and to see Michael. So I had a blast. I enjoyed seeing everybody in their costumes. It's just fun to be in the parks surrounded by other Harry Potter fans. But for next year, I'd love to be able to do the expo, but I won't be able to if the lines are like that because I just, I can't justify that to myself. So, and I, and I feel bad for people who travel in for it. If you don't have the hotel package, then it's a lot of staying around waiting when you could be in Diagon Alley eating butterbeer fudge. <laughs> So that's my review of Harry Potter Celebration. I think it's a fun event, but I think that they need to fix it. Um, and that's going to be it for this vlog. I will see you guys again on Monday for my next California vlog. It's going to be my first day at Universal Studios Hollywood. So today we're in Universal Orlando. Monday we're going to be in Universal Hollywood. So I will see you guys then. Okay hey guys, after much, much travel, we are in California. And our first stop is in and out Burger because of course that is the first priority for arriving in California. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> first in and out in five years. I'm very excited. Yeah, I know. It's been, it's been a long, long time. Mike's here, my parents are here. We're in California.